All right, greetings everyone. Uh, from the title of the video today, you probably know uh, we're in for a special treat today. Um, today we're going to be checking out or unboxing and then checking out um, the legendary scale Boba Fett. Been waiting for this for a long time and as far as I'm aware right now, there's only like two videos on YouTube for reviews of this. So hopefully I'm going to try to get like a real detailed, like I'm going to take you with me cutting it open. We're going to look inside and I just try to take you with me through the whole process of unboxing this and putting it together. Unfortunately, I don't have a stand, so it's going to be a lot of cutting of the video. But I'm going to do my best to try to give you the experience of what it would be like when you buy this. So when you first see the box, you know, it just says here, Sideshow Boba Fett Legendary Scale Limited Edition. And that's about it. And as far as I'm aware, when we cut this box open... There's not going to be like a normal sideshow box like we're used to. It's just going to be in a bunch of styrofoam. This is my first legendary scale, so I don't know. We'll see. This is probably this actually is the biggest statue I will have ever owned, so I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to get it cut open and we'll check it out. So after you get the first layer off, you'll be surprised to find that this is double box. So that's good. So now I'm going to open this box and then we'll really see what's inside. <laughs> All right. So once you get the uh, box open, this is what you're going to see. We got a picture of Boba Fett, legendary scale. You see, you got the Sideshow Collectibles little logo. Now I bought this off eBay because I know in Sideshow right now it's still pre order. And I actually got like a pretty good deal on this. So I actually canceled my pre order on Sideshow and bought this one instead. But as far as I'm aware, from what he said, everything's new and hasn't been touched so we're gonna find out as we unbox and hopefully everything's there so I'm gonna get this all opened up and then we'll check out some more so I went ahead and took this out and this is literally just this and an instruction sheet so I'll definitely be following this as we go through and put it together but from the looks of this it looks pretty simple to put together so should be pretty foolproof I hope but we'll find out it says two people recommended, but uh, that's not going to happen. So, All right, let's get the rest of this open and see what this is all about. So it looks here like we have the base under here, and I'm going to guess this is what was making... Well, that's it, but I'm going to guess this is what making the box weigh a million pounds. So I'm going to get this out and we'll check that out. So once you get this out, it's just a piece of plastic here, and you can see pretty cool base on the bottom here. It's a picture of Boba Fett, legendary scale, which kind of makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's Return of the Jedi version. This is Empire Strikes Back, but it's all good because you're not going to see this anyway. Pretty cool, though. I like it. Pretty cool so far. So it looks like next we have some pieces over here that I'm going to open up and we'll check that out. So inside this next top piece, it looks like we have the jetpack in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that pulled out and we'll take a look. So yep, here's a good look at the jetpack. Pretty awesome. There's a lot of a lot of nice detail to it. So far, so good. Everything looks pretty accurately painted. And I'm sure the beacons in there somewhere is a little slot for it. So far, it's pretty awesome though. Pretty excited to get the rest out. All right, so you get the next layer open, and as you can see, here's the the man himself. Pretty awesome. A lot of these little snack packets here they give you <laughs> but uh he's got a pretty hideous looking head but overall this looks pretty awesome i'm i'm pretty excited to get them together a lot of parts here to pull out i'm think i'm just going to start pulling them all out and once i get them all out i'll just set them out and we'll take a look all right so once you get everything out you can see here everything that you're going to be getting take a little closer look here's his blaster pistol and uh, I kind of messed with it. It appears that it doesn't come out of there, if anyone was wondering. His hands and everything are sculpted and actually attached to his blaster here. It's a pretty nice blaster. Digging it. Just a few little things I have to say about some of this stuff, but uh, we'll get into it later once we get it put together and towards the end of the video. And I'll give you my thoughts, but here's another look. The shin tools. Jetpack beacon comes with some batteries. Luckily, I was kind of worried about that because I didn't buy any. Here's a gauntlet, or I guess a glove. I mean, not a gauntlet. Here's this gauntlet, pretty detailed.
And this hose here is pretty bendable. I'm guessing this just stuffs up in his sleeve, but we'll find out. This would focus, maybe. I don't think it will. I know one of these is supposed to be painted red, so that's just one of the things where I'm saying that probably a few little details I'm going to paint up and make it a little more accurate. Here's the helmet. It's a pretty good helmet. Like, on camera it looks good, but what's weird, like, in person, like, is it kind of just looks, like, smashed, like, flat, and, like, I don't know. Something just seems kind of off about it. Like, here, I'll compare it next to my EFX helmet, and something just kind of... It looks, something just kind of looks off about it. I don't know. I mean, I'm, overall, it's good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's a terrible helmet sculpt. It is a half scale. But it just kind of looks like flattened down. I don't know. Anyway, here's the belt. And chest plate. So you got a little adapter here for it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get them put together, and then we'll check it out. All right, everyone, so here he is. Got them unboxed. Got everything together. It took me probably about 30-something minutes to get them together. But once you get them together and kind of, you know, adjust things, get things how you want them, how they're supposed to look, it's pretty awesome. So I'll go through, and I'll just kind of show you some stuff, and then uh, we'll kind of get into... I guess little nitpicks I have. <laughs> I don't really want to nitpick this thing because it's pretty awesome. But I'll just tell you little things I noticed as we go through. But I'll just kind of go through here. The helmet. You can kind of see there's kind of some dust on it that I need to wipe off. And sorry, my flashlight on my camera. It's just kind of dark in this room. So just kind of go through and check them out. Overall, though, solid job. And I was right, this tube here just kind of stuffs up into his sleeve. You can see different parts here. The gauntlets are kind of weird to get on because you're supposed to keep these sleeves pulled down, but it's kind of a pain in the ass keeping those sleeves pulled down while you put this gauntlet on. But um, once you kind of get the, the hang of it, oh, sorry about that, once you kind of get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Everything looks pretty nice once it's together. So I actually took the girth belt and pulled it down near this dent like it's supposed to be. If you look at like reference images and stuff from the movie, he has it pulled down pretty low. When you get this thing, it's going to be all the way up above that piece there. And this just kind of hooks on there. So you have to unhook this bottom loop anyway. So you might as well just loosen it and kind of make it look how it's supposed to. The blaster here hangs kind of low. But to kind of solve that, you can just kind of hang it up higher on the loop and put the belt over it to kind of hide that you're doing that. The darts here are sculpted kind of weird. They're just kind of like good focus. Maybe. They're just kind of all bent. It's not focusing, but you can see. The whole camera's just being weird. There we go. Lights here. On the chest look good. I don't know how to make this stop doing that. Let's see, it'll keep switching. And since everything's sculpted, the gloves here, when I was putting the gauntlet, like it said to sit it like comfortably in the, the left hand here. And on the back side, you can't see, but under there, some of the paint on the blaster kind of chipped off. So the Paint just kind of seems like it's just barely painted on there or something. There's a lot of dust on this thing too. I'm not sure why. Look down here. Knees, pretty awesome. You look at the boots. It's maybe kind of a size comparison. Like, put my hand down. Pretty big. About as big as my hand. It's a pretty, pretty big statue. He's about three feet tall, maybe a little bit taller than that. 
Here's the cape. Now to start with the nitpicks, my flashlight turned off. My phone's about to die. To start with the nitpicks, the cape actually, this should be a lighter color. And this should be, the stripe here should be a darker color. I'm not sure why they kind of reversed it, but you know, it's not really a big deal. Like, it's not like, oh, you shouldn't buy this big deal, you know? And you see the little beacon here lights up. I thought that was pretty awesome. Just the helmet. Again, another side of it. Another thing is they got the red here, right? But these little studs here are supposed to be supposed to have, I think, three white. And this last one here is supposed to be silver. But they kind of just made them all silver, which is fine. I mean, you can always go back and fix it yourself if you'd like. Up here lights up. I believe that's supposed to be flickering because I know the EFX one up there, it flickers. This one's just kind of solid, which I'm assuming it probably would have been hard to program the flickering effect into the statue so it's really not a big deal third thing is you know this this rifle here was made from a world war one flare gun can't remember the exact name so this should be like black colored and then you know you got the camera flash tube here this was made of and that should be like a pretty shiny silver color but it's all kind of just the same color but like i said that you know that's getting pretty like nitpicky, it's not really a big deal. I'm gonna try to poorly spin them around here. Here's the back side. And when you get it too, like this strap, if you look at reference images, is like over this back piece. And when you get it, it's all kind of gonna be bunched up here. So, you know, if, if you really care that much, like I'm just kind of big on like things looking accurate. So I just kind of like to set it up how it should look. But if you're not really too worried about it, then you know you don't really have to go through the trouble of messing with it. Overall, the colors, everything looks good. I think the helmet should probably sit up a little bit higher. So I'm probably gonna put some kind of cushion up there, like just a little piece of like foam and just kind of make his helmet sit a little bit higher. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty expensive piece, but if you can afford this this thing, I would definitely say get it. And what's pretty cool too is it comes with a little extra. He has this little piece here that goes into his chest that connects, and it's already plugged in, so just make sure you unplug one of them and then plug it into his chest, but it comes with an extra piece just in case the jetpack one or this one ends up getting broken somehow. Pretty sweet though. I'm just gonna keep going around for a little while because I know in the other videos I watched, it's kind of kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna try to just go around this as much as I can. I do have a life-size costume I'm working on for the 501st out in the living room. I'll show that towards the end of the video. And uh, that's the only reason I know a lot of these things that are kind of like, I'd say not right on this statue. It's because I've just been going through following the CRL for that, building the costume. And it's pretty much done. So I'll show it at the end. But for now, I'm just kind of going to go through and check this out. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad. As you can see though, he's pretty tall, like, you can see in the background, there's the Death Trooper premium format, and this dude's about, like, one and a half of those tall. He's a pretty tall piece, so, definitely pretty sweet. I think this gauntlet here needs to go farther up in there, it just looks kind of weird right now, so I might try to fix that later, but for right now, I'm not too worried about it. Oh, and as far as the uh, this little symbol here appears to be correct. It's not separated here at the horns, so that's good. I just like the little drape effect over his arm, kind of like you see in 
um, some of the best spin scenes and stuff where he would just drape it. Kind of has like a cool Clint Eastwood look to him when he does that. I think that's pretty cool. His lights are just sweet. Just really like seeing those lights on there on his chest, the display just really brings it together. Just like really like draws your eye to it, especially like in my room here where it's kind of dark. You got all these other things and you kind of just got them in like a dark area. This light really just kind of draws you to them. This beacon light's a really nice, you know, like I'd almost say like fluorescent white color. It's pretty cool. Do one more little spin around for you. Check out the back again. You can see some other parts there for prototype Boba Fett costume I'm working on for Comic Con, which with the whole coronavirus thing going on, I'm pretty sure will be canceled next month, but that's all right. It's kind of hard to spin this and show you all at the same time. Anyway, everyone, that's the uh, legendary scale Boba Fett. Like I said, if you have the money, I'd say it's definitely worth it. I kind of wish, I mean, they did mix media here and did cloth for the suit, which I'd really hope they did that. But I wish the gloves would have been like actual glove type cloth material too. But it, it's no, it's really no big deal. I still love it. I still think it was definitely worth it. And if you have the money, I'd definitely say buy it. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna go show you the the life size. So here's kind of my life size. Um, as you can see, you know, it's pretty much done. A lot of hours gone into it. Like I said, I'm working on it. Hopefully you get 501st approval soon. But if you'd like to see a separate video for this costume, I can go over everything, you know, the parts used, where I got parts, you know, how things were painted all that jazz even got different things that light up on it even like the beacon back there but if you'd like to see a separate video go ahead and comment below and let me know and if i get enough people then i'll definitely make a pretty detailed video about how this was made and everything and the parts used all right everyone so like i said that's legendary scale boba fett pick him up if you can i know he's still on pre-order right now but maybe you can get him on ebay or something luckily i got mine like i said at the beginning for a a really good deal and uh, so I definitely had to jump on it because I had them pre-ordered but I couldn't pass up the deal I was going to get on eBay alright everyone there it is well, like I said comment below if you'd like to see more detailed video of the life size costume and if I get enough people, then I'll definitely make a video. Um, that's all I got for you guys today, and uh, take care.